First though, we want to get you uh, into some developing news here in Avondale this morning where police are investigating a deadly shooting early this morning. It happened near Indian School in El Mirage. That's where Carla Navarrete joins us with the latest details. Yeah, good morning to you ladies. We are, as you mentioned, in Avondale at the Lighthouse uh, Bar, Sports Bar and Grill off of El Mirage and Indian School Roads. Um, earlier this morning, we mentioned to you that um, it was a pretty active scene at around 2 o'clock this morning when one man was uh, shot and killed uh, here at the sports bar. This morning, we're joined by uh, Sergeant Thomas Alt with the Avondale Police Department. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. And you have quite a bit of new information regarding what happened here. First and foremost, there was an officer here at the time of that shooting. Yes, there was. So uh, approximately 2 o'clock in the morning, we had an officer here in the parking lot of the Lighthouse Bar and Grill. Uh, the officer uh, heard uh, what he believed to be gunshots fired. Uh, so we exited his patrol vehicle and uh, started to investigate what was going on. Uh, during the investigation of trying to figure out what was going on, he did. Uh, there was a lot of chaos, um, so he was uh, able to locate somebody who he believed had been shot. Uh, he started to provide first aid to that individual uh, at the time, as well as notify other responding units that uh, he needed assistance. Uh, several other Avondale officers came on scene, uh, set up a perimeter. Um, and then we have uh, our investigation started, as you can see right now. You have um, the state uh, gang task force here joining you as well. Um, is there a reason to believe that this may have been gang related? So at this time, we're not ruling it out. Um, the state gang task force is a, uh, a tool that we are you know, able to use in an investigation like this. So uh, we are not ruling it out. Um, you have a person of interest that you mentioned earlier who you're looking for, wanting to speak with in a specific car. Could you give us some of those details? So we are looking for an African-American male um, driving possibly a, uh, a, black, or a maroon in color Dodge Challenger with black uh, specialized type rims. And this is a newer model car? Yes, the, one of the brand new looking Dodge Challengers out on the market today. You know, if anyone out there this morning is watching this broadcast and has or was here or was in the area at the time or has heard something, are you asking for them to come forward with information? Oh, absolutely. Any, any type of uh, witness information that we can obtain to help uh, with this investigation to move forward, uh, we would ask them to call the uh, Avondale Police Department, uh, the non-emergency line, 623-333-7000. Um, and so that way they can give forth any type of information that they saw, you know, it would, it would help move this investigation in the right direction. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, Sergeant. We appreciate it. And uh, one other thing that I wanted to mention is that there was another person who was hurt, but non-life-threatening injuries. Is that correct? That is correct. And she was a female transported to a local hospital, I'm assuming? Yes, a uh, female transported to a local hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. Okay. Thank you so much. And again, um, if you have any information, you're asked to call the Avondale Police Department. But at this time, they are looking for, as Sergeant Alt mentioned, an African-American man who was here and is a person of interest driving a Dodge Challenger, a newer model car, burgundy in color with specialized black rims. Anyone with information, you're asked to call the Avondale Police Department. For now, reporting live in the West Valley, I'm Carla Navarrete for AZ Family.